Okay, uh, today's topic is on Crocs, okay, and I hope can clear some misconceptions la, out there. I mean, if people want to listen, la, if they want to follow, then okay, if they don't want, then okay. La. I mean, nobody lose anything, nobody uh, that want this is uh, just voicing out your opinions. Uh, if you cannot accept, then it's too bad, la, right? I mean, maybe this channel is not for you, though, right? So first things first, uh, uh, this is a sleeper company, like, you know, like it's a footwear company. Uh, the growth has been amazing, uh, if you look at it over the past four or five years. Okay, uh, it's grown its revenue by about 3.5 times, uh, give or take. Uh. The gross profit grew about three times. The operating income grew about more than 10 times, okay? So, it's a bit like a growth stock, right? A bit lah. Uh, for those of you who actually want my opinion on the, on the slipper, uh, it's not bad lah. It's not, say, very amazing like that. For, it's for comfort, right? It's for casual wear lah. Uh, it looks quite ugly actually. Uh. That's I might think. Uh. I wear before, after a while, after two years or three years, then it broke off. But I don't really have this so some sort of uh, attachment to it. Uh. Okay, I don't really have this so some sort of attachment to it. Uh. It's, like, it's okay, it's quite comfortable, but it's not like something that would. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna buy this now. Uh, Sketches, on the other hand, after I wear the shoe, uh, it's like, wow, this is so comfy, uh, this is so nice, uh, okay, I think I'm going to buy this, but this is not about what I like, uh, this is about the statements, uh. okay, so this thing, uh, net income or operating income wise, it looks quite cheap, uh, but if you minus the thing, you get the pre-tax income, take out the income tax, you get 140, uh, right, well, the, the, the taxes, uh, the 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 interest expense did shoot up lah, okay, but they are still earning five hundred forty million post uh, that one. So if you look at the market cap, that is about give or take lah, oh. ten times lah, ten pe lo. right? Now what is the problem that everybody got so pissed off about lah? Okay, we got when you look at the debt ma, we have to look at the latest debt. What is the latest debt? The total debt is about 2.3 billion and of our assets of 4.6. So 50% of these assets uh, is actually financed by debt. Uh. Then if you take a look at the total liabilities, uh, it becomes an even uh, worse picture. Lah. Right. Uh, long term liability should be included actually, uh, honestly. So it's, it's about 2.747. So this guy, 2.747, I would take, I would be on the conservative side and take this one. Uh. So this guy is quite uh, heavily leveraged. Uh. 2.7 divided by 4.6, 58% of the assets are financed by the thing. Is this good? Is this bad? Okay. Now, at times when the company take on debt, uh, it's quite noticeable. Okay. It's quite noticeable. I can tell you uh, exactly when they took on the debt. Right. There. Acquisitions. Uh, they bought something. 2022. Now, uh, what we want to know is whether this acquisition is a creative or not. Did it? Did it a uh, uh, result in a better free cash flow number? Okay, after the acquisition, so pre cash that one of uh, uh, the this one was about uh, you must add back, huh? Okay, so I don't want you all to be confused. Uh. Usually, you add back this uh, operating, so it's about uh, 157 uh, minus 69, uh, is it? Yeah, 88. Okay, so this was 88. Okay, now we come back here. This one you must add back also, though, that one. 9.93. Uh, add back 160.21. So it's 170. 
So yeah, did it grow? Not bad lah, huh? Not bad lah. It grew lah, it grew. But uh, one five eight uh, minus sixty nine compared to one seven oh almost double lah. So it doubled, right? Uh, there is an extra seventy OCF ah. Okay, got extra seventy OCF for that one. Okay, now for the previous quarter though, it was a bit bigger, huh? Extra one hundred fifty OCF. Okay, you got to minus this other operating activity. So this is one five six. This is about uh one seven something lah. So got some improvement lah. Okay, but the improvement was more pronounced on the first quarter. Okay, fourth quarter the improvement not so much. Ah. You gotta take this minus this. This is uh, changes to uh, working capital. This one can be manipulated. This one also you gotta take this. You minus this. So this is actually one five six only, and this is actually one seven something. Uh. One seven something. Yeah. So it's actually. It's actually worse. Uh. It went worse. Uh. So we take a look at this also. Uh, minus 69. Uh, we want to see the, the, the trend. Uh. Uh, minus 69. Uh, plus 158. So this one is 89 here. Okay. Uh, fast forward here. Uh, this is actually 170. So this is actually good man. You can see the result is actually quite good starting from here. But the this one is lousy. But this one they already purchased it, right? So there's some improvement la. Oh, there's some improvement. Uh is it good enough to justify the purchase? I we have to see later, one year later, right? Uh, but we cannot extrapolate with one year. Like, we have to see from two years or three years. Uh. We have to see what is the extra free cash flow that they got uh, by buying this company. Okay. This is about one two five. This is about. Two, three, three. It grew by a bit lah. Oh, seventy to eighty percent lah. Now the capex remain about the same lah, so I wouldn't be bothered to uh, do that one. I'll just use the OCF lah. Even pre that one, pre purchase and post purchase, they remain about the same lah. Okay, in fact, the capex uh, actually for post purchase sometimes looks a bit smaller. But it's maybe just my uh, feeling, uh, but yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah. I guess that's all uh, for, for, for my that one. So I think it grew. Uh, huh? This is 174. This is uh, 233. More or less about 34%. Uh, give or take uh, the growth. Uh. Oh, this is post purchase, and it still grew. That's not bad actually. Post purchase and it still grew. So this is the number post post the acquisition and it still grew. So that is not bad lah. It's a thirty three percent growth. So I don't see what's wrong with this company lah. Okay, and looking at the uh, OCF, I think. You can estimate the OCF maybe to be about uh, 156. I think it's about 800 lah, 800 uh, million per year the FCF lah. I would estimate it like that lah, roughly give or take 800 to 700 lah. Okay, now uh, what's the debt ma? that needed to be paid? Uh, I will take 
the total long term liabilities. I don't take the current one because current one usually is covered by the uh, current assets. So it's two seven four seven. I divide by about maybe that's not it's about seven hundred. I I will yeah seven hundred lah. I guess. Let's I give panjang lah. We panjang. We say six hundred million lah. Now, uh, for me, four point below five is still okay lah. Below five is still okay lah. But I I I would rather this guy now, uh, due to the rising high interest, uh, I would rather they start the leveraging, okay. And in this moment in time, we will know whether the company has problems or not. So so far, you look at the company; it has been deleveraging very steadily. Okay, so this is steady; nothing wrong with this company. Uh, is deleveraging every quarter. Okay, I I do hope that uh, every year it will be able to deleverage out six hundred million at least, lah. Okay, six hundred million, lah. So if we look at the purchase, when did they purchase this? Uh, Here, right? Two thousand two March. Okay. Yeah. Uh, March to one, two, three, four. Right. The the leverage about six hundred million lah. Just five hundred ninety one plus seven, so five hundred ninety eight lah. Okay. So yeah, six hundred million lah. That means I correct lah. They the leverage about six hundred million. Okay. Uh, yeah, about six hundred million. Then I think maybe the future they can deleverage more faster and faster and faster and faster. Okay, now the next part we talk about the how sure are we uh, about this company? Okay, uh, yes. The addition of debt removes the uns uh, the the certainty about the company. When you got no debt, you surely won't go bust. Surely won't go bankrupt. What? You got no debt. What? Nobody pushing you, what? right? And you are still earning profit. How can you go bankrupt? So this is question number one, right? Ah, with the debt, you gonna go bankrupt. Got possibility lah, not will lah. Okay. But a debt that you can pay back in five years or four years or three years or two years, that is normal, bro. That is common, okay. That is common. Uh, in fact, if you are looking for companies that has no debt at all, ah, uh, that's very tough, lah. Right. So the guy has debt. So you, you are you gonna filter out every company that you want only one that has no debt? That is too safety. Take too safety, liao. If you too safety, liao, what happen? Uh, you won't get good investment, ah. Uh. As in, the price that you buy the investment at is very highly. Okay. Now I do admit, though, uh, I have to admit, ah, uh, but uh, the price for this is not uh very cheap. Also, if I estimate a six hundred million, okay, divided by six point six, is about eight point eight nine. Nine market cap to FC about nine lah, so it's okay lah. So one divide by point zero nine. Ah, the PE is about. No no no, what am I doing? Market cap to FC is the PE. So five point three. Ah, divide by ah ah. Point six lah. Five point three divided by point six, correct? Yeah, eight point eight. That is the PE lah. That is my sort my my PE lah, which is, I believe, is more accurate than doing the thing. Nine, okay lah. It's not amazing lah, oh. But well, if it can grow, if can grow, if can grow, if can grow steadily, the revenue can grow steady. Not bad lah. Uh, was the purchase attractive or not? Uh, 
Well, you think about it this way. If they never buy, they won't be able to increase their thing so fast. Uh. Right? But also, if they never buy, they will still be safe. Lo. Right? They will still be in the safe zone. Okay? But after they bought, the growth, uh, their, their operating profit actually went up. Post uh, pre-tax income actually went up. Okay, so was it a good purchase? I would say, yeah, it was a quite a good purchase. Lah. Okay, it was quite a good purchase. Lah. So, if you say good or bad, yeah, good. You have to look at pre-tax, don't, don't look at net income. Why? Here, the net income, uh, they actually added in. There was some net income benefits. Lah. Okay. So, their net income looks very big. So, it's better to look at pre-tax. Lah. Okay, for me, I usually look at pre-tax, uh, pre-tax income or operating income. But now, because interest has become a very uh, big expense, uh, I would not take. I would not use operating income only. I will take account into that interest expense. So, looking at this, was the purchase creative or not? It, 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 I think it was quite creative, lah. Huh? right? Take a look at it. The net income actually tripled. So was this a good idea buying this company? Not bad lah. Not bad lah. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's amazing lah. Huh? Okay. It remains to be seen whether they can keep up the growth or not. I don't know. Okay. Because they just purchased it 2000. Uh, they just purchased it recently, right? 2020. Where was it now? Two thousand twenty two March. They just purchased something recently. Okay. I think two thousand twenty three uh if it does they can afford it lah, I will say. They can afford it. But if two thousand twenty three you see the result they don't grow that much, huh? Uh the OCF they don't grow that much, huh? That means they had a bad purchase, huh? Okay, so you compare this to this did it grow a lot? The revenue? Not so much, right? Okay. Uh, the year on year, you, uh, uh, revenue never grow that much. Huh? But 33%, this is... Why, why I say not so much? Because you bought something. And you expect a big bump in growth after it. But you never get the big bump lah. Oh, if you never buy, then it's gonna be not not so good, low. Now, operating income uh, post that one, I think may be heading for some good numbers uh, this year. Okay, it could be headed to nine hundred uh, the pre-tax income. 900 the pre-tax huh? 900 million no? that means you still grow if it's 900 million if they can keep it up uh, I, I kind of doubt they can keep it up though then yeah the P is gonna be 6 low 5.8 6 low okay so some people just want to buy those multi companies uh, like Adam uh, that, but not everybody just want to buy multi companies lah. That's why I think uh, if you just want to buy multi companies, uh, you definitely gonna pay a premium for them because they are in fashion uh. Okay, uh, they are the market leader usually. Usually they're the market leader. Uh, for example, Nike uh, Nike is the market leader definitely. Right. So you ask me, uh. Am I going to buy Nike or am I going to buy Crocs? Okay. One is a value per 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 perspective. La. The other one is a multi perspective. La. I 
I think that's all lah. Uh, yeah, that's all for today lah. My wife getting quite pissed off already. He's always angry for some reason.